What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you another Destiny Tips and Tricks video and today we are discussing how current Destiny gear will be handled in the Taken King. More specifically, will we be able to hold on to and keep using those legendaries and exotics that we all hold so near and dear and will they even be powerful enough for us to carry through to the next expansion? Now this confirmed information comes out of Bungie's kind of spotlight month with Game Informer with the Taken King. And they have confirmed that indeed legendary gear, that's armor and weapons, will not progress into the Taken King. Now that doesn't mean you can't use it, that doesn't mean you can't use these items in PvP specifically, because we all know that PvP scaling and damage is all handled far differently than it is in PvE but your legendary armor and weapons will not be viable against, you know, like high tier Taken King enemies. For example, you will not be able to bring your Fatebringer into the, the King's Fall, which is the new Taken King raid, and have it be powerful enough to, you know, compete with other weapons that you could have brought in that are new. That is just one example, and I know, uh, you know, the Fatebringer is a weapon that a lot of people are crying about that they're not going to be able to use, you know, well, they're going to be able to use it, but it's not going to be as good. It won't be able to compete, you know, with new legendaries and, of course, not even new exotics. And so really what this affects, I think, is not so much, you know, there are some, you know, dime a dozen vendor legendary weapons that a lot of people love and a lot of people just, you know, can't live without. But this really affects a lot of those, you know, niche raid weapons like the Fatebringer, like I said, from Vault of Glass. And, of course, like the Black Hammer is another weapon that comes to mind that a lot of people will miss. And so those weapons just will not be viable. It's like Bungie is, you know, kind of putting them to bed, putting them to rest and making room for the new legendaries that will be available. And again, this does affect armor as well. However, I'm not really aware of any armor that a lot of people are going to miss, except for, again, raid armor. People are going to miss their raid armor. But really, in my mind, the primary function of raid armor was to get you, you know, to the top light level. And as you guys know from my previous video, and if you didn't know that, check the link below uh, to my last video, light and light levels are completely handled differently. So I don't think a lot of people will be missing their uh, raid armor unless they're very, very specific perks. So anyways, that's how legendaries are going to be handled. Now exotics. A lot of people have been asking this. I've actually been searching for this. There's no official word, no announcement by Bungie on how exotics will be handled uh, in terms of progression. And you can kind of sense of how it's going to be handled, but Bungie could take it in a, in a completely different direction. In the past, with the Dark Below and with House of Wolves, there were avenues, ways of upgrading exotics. It's been changed a few times, but there's always been a way to make sure that your exotics stay relevant. Now, Bungie could go one of two ways, of course. They could make them not relevant and throw them into the legendary category, you know, with those coveted raid weapons and just say, you know what, guys, it's been a good run with the Thorn, you know, the Icebreaker, the Galahorn. We want to make room for m more, you know, exotics and, you know, kind of put those to rest, like I said before. Or they could offer us a way to upgrade all of these weapons that we spent a lot of time on. And really, I, I, this is a pretty divisive opinion. In my, in my opinion, I would be okay with throwing away all these exotics. I am really, you know, ready for a very new cast of uh, relevant gear, of weapons and uh, armor. So, really, I would be okay with, you know, not having the Thorn, you know, the best option in PvE anymore. You know, how much would it suck if we played through the Taken King, put however many hours it required to get to you know, the maximum of whatever we needed to be to be the most powerful, and the thorn was still the most powerful weapon. That would suck in my opinion. But at the same time, a lot of people are worried, like I've put hours and hours and hours. I played with the thorn for 20 hours, for example, in Destiny. That's just a random number, it's not exact. I've played with the thorn for a lot of time. I've spent the time to get it upgraded all the way. Does all of that upgrading go to waste? So. I really do think it could go either way, um, but I'm thinking Bungie is going to let us upgrade these exotics, but I would kind of like to see the Taken King's exotics be a little more powerful. I don't know. That that feels like a little bit of a, uh, uh, what do you call it, kind of a gray area, a meeting point. You could kind of make an exception 
to both of those rules. You don't have to do, you know, one of the evils. You don't have to completely make these old exotics unnecessary, not good, not comparable. You could make them kind of still relevant, but at the same time, give the Taking King exotics, you know, kind of all the spotlight that they need. And so, if we also look at other games, uh, the big one that I immediately thought of when I heard that they're making legendaries irrelevant is World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is this MMO, super wildly popular, still being played by millions of people uh, like 10 years after it came out. Each expansion, they make their gear irrelevant. There's no exotics that are able to carry over. It is very much a reset. And I guess the main difference with that game is that you have more than one year to kind of progress and get through everything and collect all that you want. In Destiny, it's only a year turnaround, and so that's another factor, I think, that uh, adds a lot to this conversation. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you want in terms of exotics? Do you want them to put all those old exotics on the shelf, still allow you to use them in PvP, but bring in a new round of exotics for PvE and raids that give us a spotlight for those new weapons to use? Or do you want them to be able to completely be upgraded, you know, all the way to the maximum attack damage? and still be relevant. Uh, I'd really like to know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also stay tuned for my continuing Taken King coverage happening all this month. So hope to see you guys on future videos and I will talk to you next time. Peace.